Yo, it's Rue, and today we're gonna be celebrating two years of YouTube. I started my YouTube channel on November 18th, 2021, so it's been quite a decent while now. Anyways, let's get into the questions. Are there any smaller gotcha tubes you watch, and what have you learned from them and put into your own work? Honestly, I don't watch that many gotcha tubers. I watch like five of them, but they all don't post that often because they're all like story creators. But a smaller gotcha tuber I have found recently. Oh, one sec, how do I pronounce it? Wilmamer? Wilmamer Gotcha? I, I think I s might be saying that correctly, kind of. Anyways, next question. How do you script your series? So what seems to work best for me right now is giving myself basic plot points and guidelines to follow. So being like, this character is gonna be feeling like this and this needs to happen. Get from point A to point B and then you write that in between. What's essential for a story to be Good. Well, there are a lot of things that need to happen to make a good story, but I feel like the number one thing is having good characters. If your characters lack a personality, a lot of people won't like them, which will lead for them not to like the story. That's just kind of how it works. I, I don't know. But anyways. What are your plans for Paper Airplane? How many episodes slash seasons are you planning to have? So PAP is for sure going to have two seasons. Maybe a third season. It really just depends how I'm writing out these first two. And then each season is gonna have anywhere from 10 to 13 episodes, which will all be anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes long. When I think about it, it just sounds horrible to not get an episode for a long time, just for them to be like 10 minutes long each. I can't stand waiting a week for a 20 minute long episode. I couldn't even imagine waiting like a month for a 10 minute episode. Have you ever thought about quitting the gotcha community? I have not ever thought about quitting the gotcha community, but I have thought about quitting YouTube. It'll just occasionally pop up in my mind as like an option, but I never want to do it. <laughs> it's like, you could just quit right now. It'd be so much easier. I'm like, <laughs> no, you kidding me? I ain't no quitter. Do you ever think you're going to hire voice actors for one of your gotcha series? Well, I know for a fact I'm not hiring voice actors for Paper Airplane. That would be way too hard. But I do kind of plan on making a gotcha voice actor movie after season one of Paper Airplane. Because I have this one story idea in my mind that I just really, really like and it seems intriguing to me. But I don't want to make it a whole entire story, so just a movie sounds awesome. And I would really enjoy doing that. What would you consider your style slash aesthetic? I don't really know what to call my style, so I'm just going to call it alt because alt kind of fits everything. I feel like alt is different for every person that dresses like it, which is why a lot of people identify with alt. But these are some images of what I wear. I wear a lot of black, red, and crazy patterns because crazy patterns, some reason, just make me happy. I just really like patterns. Do you plan on making any more art-related videos? No, I do not plan on making any more art videos. I also don't plan on making any more gaming videos though. I really only want to focus on things I really enjoy, like painting. Would you ever do some type of collab video? Yeah, I'm very open to doing collabs as long as the person are at a similar skill level. If you guys know of any smaller gotcha tubers that you want me to collab with, feel free to leave them in the comments because I've been trying to find someone to collab with for ages. How did you learn about gotcha? So I learned about gotcha through Afmao when I was like 11 or 12. I was a big My Street fan and she made this video of Aaron cheating on Afmao and for some reason my brain was like, ooh, this gotcha thing's pretty cool. I'm gonna look up more of it. Like, I, I, I thought that was cool. I was like, oh yeah, Aaron cheating on Afmao. That is the stuff. I'm Google, I'm, I'm looking up more on YouTube. No one can stop me. Then I was a gotcha kid. It just worked like that, I guess. <laughs> What did you think of the gotcha community when you first saw it and what do you think of it now? Well, I obviously really, really liked gotcha immediately. And now honestly, I still really, really love gotcha. I feel like I never talk about how much I like gotcha or how much good gotcha has done. I know a lot of people always just look at the dark and they're like, oh, there's all this and look at all the drama. But underneath that is just a community of extremely creative people who wanna share their passion. And I think that is beautiful, so. Yeah. What is the future of this channel going to be like? I'm not really sure what the future of this channel is going to look like, but right now I'm just trying to improve step by step and slowly make things better. How do you come up with the names for your characters? 
just Google. Google's your best friend when you're trying to name characters. Or I'll Google names with certain meanings. So for example, let's say there's a character who's emotional, okay? I'll Google names that mean water to represent that emotional side of them. Stuff like that. Could you do more nutshell videos? Those were so funny. Yes, I will be making more nutshells in the future, probably for Paper Airplane, but I have thought about doing nutshell style of just my old cringy gotcha stories because that sounds funny too, I guess. You know how you did painting on beanies? Can you do painting on other things like gloves or scarves? I am gonna take you up on that idea and make that because imagine I could make myself a whole winter outfit, especially since it's turning into the colder months. Okay, I am doing that at some point. Thank you for the video idea. Okay, and those were all the questions. Now I'm gonna go into a few of my favorite comments. Some of them are just so funny, I feel like it would be a shame if I don't mention them. Alex, hot nerd. Zane, hot and jealous. Jake, hot and nice. Jonathan, poof. This is Luna, she has a brain. Unlike Ace. If you want, you can pause to read this one. I just thought it was really sweet. Maya joined a street gang. Bro, every time you said Nacho Basic Bad Boy, it said nachos on the subtitles. I was just double fooled. All right, let me just, boink. She's mine now. This made me laugh so hard. <laughs> this poor girl has so much trauma. Put that out of the way. The movements are really smooth, like changing the hand when texting and moving the eyes like they're watching them. Your beautiful laugh sounds like a hyena. <laughs> I'm sorry, that one was so funny. That almost killed me reading out loud. All right, and those were all my favorite comments. There are a lot of other ones I also like, but those are like the funniest ones, I believe. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a like, or if you hated it, then dislike it. Bye bye. So I don't have a new outro yet, and I think I'm just gonna use this time to thank everyone who has made fan art and sent it to me and stuff. It means a lot to me. I really, really enjoy looking at it all. And it means so much because it shows me that people like actually enjoy my content like a little bit or at least enough to want to make fan art. So thank you. It is all truly beautiful. And if you're uncomfortable with it being displayed, I will go in YouTube studio and blur out your drawing. Just make sure to tell me which one is yours and I'll do that for you. So yeah, bye-bye. Uh,